we took a white piece of paper and we looked at pinball what it was and we kept things that we liked and we changed things that we could change. We have a company, PinballSales.com, that sells games to the home market. There was a need for full-featured modern games by that customer base, and we decided we were going to create a product and fill that need. So you'll see immediately on this game you have a full-featured LCD monitor in the head of the game instead of a static image. You have no light bulbs, it's all RGB LED lighting. The winged monkey flies down and captures your ball. You have a spinning house with the legs of the Wicked Witch of the East that pop out. You have to battle the witch and melt her. So all those things are physically in the game. We wanted something that would be uh, really cool when you walk up to it and see it and get new players to play pinball. The hardcore pinball people were a little skeptical until they got to play the game. Because anytime you change something that's so deeply rooted and has history to it, um, the purists say, well, that's different than a regular pinball machine. Right now, uh, the game in the April Playmeter magazine, which is our industry magazine, rates it number one for earnings. To hit the chart and be number one, it's like having a hit song, it's great. And because it's making money, operators want to buy it and put it on their locations, put them in movie theaters and put them in old places like that. Building a pinball company is something where you're going to have a lot of difficulties. And why was there only one or two other companies around doing it? Because it's difficult. Managing the bill of materials, all the parts, millions of dollars worth of parts that are in the building and in process to us, it's a real challenge for a manufacturing company today to get off a mat and start from nothing um, in the United States today. But if you make the product that people want, they beat their way to your door and they, and they buy the product.